In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create climographs using climatic data, which is in a Google spreadsheet. You will notice that along the bottom of this file, there are a number of different locations. Uh, I'm working now on location number five. I have the month, which January through December. I have the temperature, which is the average temperature for each month. And I have precipitation, which is the average amount of precipitation. Down here at the bottom, you'll notice that there's the annual values. This will be our average temperature in degrees Celsius, and this will be our total amount of precipitation. For this exercise, we will not be using the annual values. Instead, what we're going to do is begin by selecting all of these cells, and on the main menu, click Insert Chart. This will open up a funky looking chart for you, and it should open up the chart editor. On the chart editor, uh, you might have, especially for the first chart that you create in this file, something else as the default. So for under chart type, you want to make sure that you have um, underline a combo chart. So combo chart is set. We're now going to go over to the customize option. And we're going to start off with the series option. So we click the little arrow, it shows us the series, and we are not going to mess with all of the series at the same time. We're going to deal with them individually. So let's start off with temp. Once we're at the temp, we're going to make a few changes. The first thing that we want to do is make temperature represented by lines. As we make changes over here, it will make changes over here. And that's not to worry about. Okay, so I'm going to make that a red line. Choose whatever red you like. Uh, I do want points to show up for each one of my month values. I'm going to set those at 7px. And I'm wanting this to be labeled on the right axis. So I select right axis. It's looking quite messy right now, but we're going to go and change now our precipitation. So again, back up to series. In that drop down menu, we'll choose precipitation. This time we're going to make those columns. We're going to make those blue. And we're going to leave those on the left axis. This is everything that we're going to do in this series. So we're going to minimize those options. And we're going to come up here to chart and access titles. Under chart title, it currently has temp degrees C and PPT CM. That's swell, but what I would really like it to say is climograph. for location five. And you'll notice um, all along as we make edits over here to our chart editor, it corrects things over here. That takes care of our chart title, but I would also like some labels on my axes. So I'm gonna drop down and go to the vertical axes. I do have two options for the axes, and you might remember that we did one on one and the other on the other. So let's go to vertical axis, which will be these values over here. And then right vertical axis will be these values over here. So the title that I want for my vertical axis is going to be precipitation. And I'm just gonna put a little CM in there to indicate that that's um, centimeters. That's going to be my centimeters along that edge. Now for my right axis, that will be my temperature. And because I've filled it in before, it gives me this option. You can, if you want, find that little degrees um, location. Um, but for simplicity, I'm just going to leave that off for now. I'm going to leave all of my other values um, in their default values. So I'm all done with my chart title and my titles from my two vertices. Once that's complete, it's all ready to go. So I can close the chart editor. What I will most often do is uh, copy and paste this to put it into my uh, Word document or my Google document. I usually will just select and then I will hit Control and while holding the Control key, hit the C key. That copies this as an image file to, <coughs> copies it as an, <coughs> an, copies it as an image file to my clipboard. The other thing that we can do is we can copy the chart using the three little beads that we have up here in the corner.
to copy the chart, to publish, to download it as an image file or as a PDF. 